Update for you tonight about the Justice for Junior case. Five gang members have pleaded guilty to manslaughter in a deal with Bronx prosecutors. Yeah, it's a major development more than four years after that 15-year-old was chased, dragged out of a Bronx bodega and stabbed to death. Thanks so much for staying with us. I'm Corey Chambers. And I'm Tamsin Fidel. Well, the five men will receive less prison time, but the case is not over. There was one holdout. Pick some. It's Mary Murphy with more for us tonight. It's almost the closing chapter in the junior investigation. Five of the last six defendants in the massive case pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the first degree, some agreeing to sentences of 12 years, while others expect to get 15 years behind bars. Are you pleading guilty voluntarily because you are guilty of this crime? Yes. Danilo Payamp, in jail more than four years now, hesitated slightly when he pleaded guilty to manslaughter in the 2018 gang stabbing of Lissandro Jr. Guzman Feliz, who was just 15 years old. Judge Ralph Fabrizio also asking him, Did you, acting in concert with the other individuals, cause the death of Lissandro Guzman Feliz Jr.? by stabbing and slashing him about his neck and body. Yes. Payamp never stabbed Junior, but he's seen here getting out of one of the four cars that chased the terrified teen, later pacing by a getaway vehicle while the 22nd attack took place. We can just have him sign. Payamp took the plea deal offered by the Bronx District Attorney's Office, admitting the gang intended to cause serious physical injury to Junior. Decrease, 12 years incarceration followed by five years post-release supervision. Payamp accepting 12 years in prison instead of risking 25 to life if he was convicted of murder at the next trial. The five stabbers and two gang leaders have already received substantial sentences for murder convictions. Two weeks ago, Jose Tavares, the first person in the bodega who spotted Junior and then flagged the others, agreed to plead guilty to manslaughter and a gun charge in return for a 15-year sentence. Junior's mother told PIX11 in late October she wasn't happy with plea deals. For me, it's not make difference if you was in the car driving or if you were chasing them, they killed Junior. One reputed gang member who rejected a plea offer is Danelle Fernandez, identified on surveillance cameras wearing a green do-rag as he allegedly pulled a desperate Junior from behind the bodega counter where the teen was hiding under a sink. Fernandez refused to plead guilty to manslaughter for an 18-year sentence. The second gang member who pulled Junior out, Kevin Alvarez, had pleaded guilty in 2019 before the first trial and became a star witness. When the trials are over, he's supposed to get released with time served. So now there's only one defendant left in the Junior case, and that's Danelle Fernandez, the man accused of dragging Junior out of the bodega with Kevin Alvarez. Unless prosecutors can work out a deal before early January, it seems like we're looking at a third junior trial. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News. You know, um, about five years ago, I did a story about this young man, Junior. The Bronx kid who was murdered by the gang called, um, the Dominican gangs called the Trinitarios. I mean, they got the, they got the people that did it, however. But it's very interesting that now, I mean, this story came out in December of last year, but this, but now I, I just found out about this story a few, a few minutes ago. Here's one thing I didn't understand about this story. They got the people that did it, but they didn't get the perpetrator that set Junior up. And that's one of the Trinitario leaders' sister. You notice that they, not, they never talk about her at all. They did, they did got the brother, who's the leader of the Trinitarios, as well as his known accomplices that killed Junior. But you never heard anything about the sister. And why is that? She is just as guilty as all the guys that killed Junior that day. And it's so funny 
that not one time that the sister even bring up bring it bring her up not even on, on trial and she was the cause of the situation as i remember on if I, as i remember when it comes to this case the story the story is there's a guy who looked just like Junior was allegedly the sister's boyfriend. They did they, they, they allegedly they ran a train on the sister, the boyfriend and some other guy, and it was recorded. The word came back to the brother, who's the leader of the Trinitarios. And then they would have killed the boyfriend. But the sister lied, telling her brother. That it wasn't the boyfriend. It was Junior trying to protect the boyfriend. And you know that they had images. They look exactly alike. So. The Trinitarios. Who is the, the brother's gang. He's, he's, he's part of the gang. They up there. Looking for a Junior. Obviously, as you can see right here that, you know, they saw a video of the, the, bodega, the bodega that night. And this incident happened was 2018. You know, they was in the bodega. They found where Junior is located at. And you can see that the guy who owns the bodega, you know, basically telling Junior to leave the store. Junior refused because these guys are after him. He hide under the counter so that the so that the gang won't 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 find him. But unfortunately they did find Junior. They dragged Junior out of, of the bodega and they, they, and then you see him, you know, deleting him. I mean he was on he was basically stabbed and, and, and he was on his way to the hospital which was basically a block and a half away. And unfortunately Junior didn't make it. So here comes the trial. As you know, they nab all of the pers all of the people that were involved in Junior's deletion, and then they 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 um they decided to plead guilty for a plea deal. But I agree with Junior's mother too. Like you y'all agreed to this plea deal, and they should have been convicted. It should have been convicted. Everybody, I mean, all the people that were involved in Junior's deletion should have been convict convicted. Every last one of them. But they made a deal to prosecutors to get manslaughter charges, etc. But again, I'm going to ask this question. Where were the sister in this investigation? Why was the sister involved? And why were the sister been charged in this? She the one setting Junior up from the get-go. And this is why I'm saying right here and now, yeah, they, they captured all of the people that were involved in, in Junior's deletion, but should they should have got the sister because she's the one may, um, planned this attack. And then try to tell the brother, to, I mean, really, it was a mistaken identity because they was, was about to get the boyfriend, but she lied, said there wasn't a boyfriend, it was really Junior. And remember, Junior asked, Junior, because remember, um, the girl who, the, the sister... You know, told Junior that she needed money to get a train, um, a subway train home. So Junior asked the mom. The mom gave Junior the five dollars, and then, and then it, I mean, and then the rest is history, right? So I did this story because the thing is, it was a major news story, not just in New York, but all across the country. But what makes me even more upset right now is that the sister hasn't even been charged. Or I, I might be wrong, but I haven't seen the, the sister in, 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 involved in, 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 in the arrest. Why? She orchestrated the entire thing. She set Junior up since day one. After Junior gave her the, the, the money to get the train home, as we thought. All because that, all because that the boyfriend was caught on video, you know, do a threesome with another boy. 
And her brother, who's the leader of the Trinitarios, found out about it and put a hit out on the boyfriend, let alone the sister even tell them it wasn't him. It wasn't a boyfriend. It was Junior. Accusing Junior was involved. And that was completely out of the case. The sister should have been charged as well as the rest of the, tr the Trinitarios that was involved in Junior's, Junior's deletion. So y'all let me know what you think about this. I mean, this to me shows you that... Yes, I mean, yeah, they captured all the people that were involved except the sister because she should have been involved for accessory. And they didn't even do it for some, for some reason. And she's the cause of everything. She lied to the brother saying that it was Junior that you saw on the video, not the boyfriend that was in the video that looked like Junior. So let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll talk to you in the next video. This is Lions Insight off. Deuces.